Pope Francisco, Pope Francis, has just, uh, I don't know, if I haven't clicked on the link, I don't know if it's a papal decree or whatever official papal pronouncement statements are, but the, the link at the Drudge Report says, let's see, here it is, Pope, colon, all dogs go to heaven. Right there it is on the drug. Speaking of animals, folks, tell you what we did today at uh, at Rush Revere. We sent Liberty, the time traveling talking horse, with a whole bunch of books. The latest book, Rush Revere in the American Revolution, to a U.S. Marine Corps Reserve program collecting unwrapped toys for Toys for Tots. Liberty delivered a whole bunch of books. To the uh, Toys for Tots program today. And there's a great picture. There is a great picture that we have posted. A lot of great pictures from, from readers and families who are sending us videos and pictures all over the place at our Facebook page. But we've got a picture of Liberty actually delivering a box. Well, I mean, it's thousands. We have a couple thousand books, I think it is, to Toys for Tots today. And Liberty delivered them in a truck. And we've got a picture of this at facebook.com slash Rush Revere. And for those of you who have children or grandchildren who read these books and love them and think that Liberty is their favorite character, this would be a good picture for them to see. In fact, it's Liberty who demanded that I mention this to you. Liberty demanded. He's out there. He's on Facebook. He's got his picture all over the place giving away books and he wants you to be, he wants you to see him. So it's at facebook.com slash Rush Revere Liberty and a special donation delivery to Toys for Tots, the Marine Corps Reserve Program dedicated to providing unwrapped gifts to uh, children and those less fortunate. You know, that was one of my first ever charitable involvements when I was in Pittsburgh. Uh, First radio, actually, I was in McKeesport, which suburb of Pittsburgh. And the uh, radio station had a had a no. I take it back. This is not what the first was. It's a KQV. Anyway, it was at the I think it was the Monroeville Mall. Anyway, they sent me out there. The station had an official relationship with Toys for Tots, and they sent me out to this mall for a couple hours. And it was it was Christmas time. It was in the mall. It was snowing outside. And for some reason, I've always remembered it. We had a a Marine there in full dress uniform accepting presents. People were going to stores and buy the stores and uh, buy the gifts and bring them out and donate them to the Marines. And the Steelers sent a player over, John Frenchy Fuqua, who John Frenchy Fuqua is the only is the only human being who really knows what happened during the Immaculate Reception. He is the only man alive who knows who that pass first hit and then bounced to Franco Harris. And back then, that mattered. The pass could not bounce off an offensive player and be recovered by another offensive player. That's, that was not allowed at the time. The pass had to be deflected by a defensive player. In this case, one of the Oakland Raiders. And the pass was for Frenchy Fuqua. I forget who the Raiders defender was. I know this. I'm just having a mental block. Jack Tatum. And the pictures are inconclusive, but he's the only guy who knows, and he has vowed never to say. He promises in every speech. He opens every speech by telling him he's going to tell him at the end of the speech, and he never does. But he was the guy, and he was, it was, I I didn't know who Frenchie Fuqua was at the time, and I'd barely been there long enough to become a Steelers fan. But he was the guy that ran around. He had high heels with goldfish in them. Clear plastic heels of goldfish, and he was a uh, he was a uh, uh, well he was ahead of his time in terms of uh, attire. He was one of the funniest guys, still is. But that was Toys for Tots. Is the point was the, was one of the first charitable things that I ever had anything to do with, and it's always because it was such it was it was seasonally perfect. It was snowing outside. It was in a mall. Everybody was happy. Uh, it was cold and wintry. It was exactly what you would expect for Christmas time, and and everybody 
seemed to be generous and going into stores, buying things and bringing them and donating to the Marine that was out there in dress uniform. And there were a couple of players from the, the Pittsburgh Penguins. The hockey team showed up, too. It was, a, it was a fun time. We all ended up going someplace for a beer afterwards. And it was, uh, yeah, <laughs> Frenchy Fuqua coming. I am John Frenchy Fuqua! Introducing himself and uh, pointing to the goldfish in his shoes. And that, that everybody thought that was a myth, but no. It was actually...